Hello, this is the Longhorn Engineer. This time to bring you Project Unity, which is basically an Atari 2600 uh, power circuitry, controls, video mod, and audio amp on a convenient little PCB about this big. It's a little bit bigger than your hand, um, a little bit bigger than an Atari cartridge, but yeah, pretty convenient for people who like to do portables. And this is the prototype so far. I would say it's about 95% the way there so far. Um, on the front side, you got your stereo jack for headphones. Your uh, difficulty switches left and right. The black and white switch will go right in the middle. That's, uh, I didn't order enough switches. But power jack, so you can charge your internal lithium batteries. The, uh, the paddle control. And so that you can play games like Kaboom, stuff like that. Uh, regular controls, you got your paddle fire, you have your regular firing button, select, reset, and your multi directional joystick. It's kind of just like a D pad rolled into one little, little stick. You got your audio control, as you hear, volume control, power switch, and right, whole shebang. On the back side, you have all the basically the guts of the system. You have a PS1 speaker that will be replaced with a smaller speaker as it's a little too big for this portable. Um, let's see. Oh yes, we're using the uh, Harmony cartridge right now. It's basically a, a Tori cartridge. Let's see if I can get that. Well, it's upside down, but yeah. Uh, a Tori cartridge with an SD card slot. You basically put your bin files on this, load it in, and the Atari pops up with a menu and you get to select what game you want to play. I think on that 2 gig uh, SD card you can put every single Atari game including homebrews on it. It's like a thousand something games. Let's see, in the uh, meat of the system you have your Riot chip, the 6507, and the TIA chip which is the graphics processor. This big silver thing is the clock crystal and I ordered a small one from Mauser that should be coming in soon. It's like the size of a pencil eraser. So, size of, you know, I guess it's like about the size of a quarter, or something the size of a pencil eraser. It's a pretty big change. Um, yeah, that's basically, oh yeah, this is the video mod circuitry, and this is the uh, audio amp right over there. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is to fire up. Let's make sure we don't get any shorts. And there's the Harmony Cart. And you can pick whatever you want. We're going to go with the color bar because it displays sound and a very annoying sound at it. Um, yeah. And you can select what colors, grids, circles, you know, whatever. The grayscale bar, the bar you see when they're testing the frequency or the channels on TV. And let's play a little pole position to demonstrate this. The only thing that's left to do on it is to fix some video issues. It's got a little bit of uh, weird interference going on. It seems to be sound related sometimes, the sound circuitry interfering, but then at other times it's not. So I'm going to have to get an oscilloscope and check it out. I think the uh, power circuitry is uh, interfering with the video signal, but we shall see. Ooh. Well, that's Project Unity, and I'll see if I have something that can compare the size of this. Oh, here we go. That's an NES cartridge. This portable is smaller than an NES cartridge. And it's a real hardware Atari 2600, basically. Until next time.